Hi everyone, welcome to Naresh Technologies, this is Srinivas. So, in this session, so we are going to discuss so a basic interview question in Java. So, that is, so what is the difference between a block and method, right? So, question, question, so block, so block versus method, block versus method. So, block means what just you can consider a static block, a non-static block, those are Java blocks. So, general blocks also you can consider if block, else block, some logical blocks and methods also, right. It may be a static method or non-static method or you can take a special method constructor also we can, so no problem, right. So, here so block so versus a method we are taking, method. So, differences we will see differences. So, for block, suppose if you write like this, the, so small differences. So, first one, a block of instructions, block of instructions, inside you can write the logic and here also same story. The so method is also block of instructions, block of instructions. So, here the block means what? Is a block of instructions and same story. It is also block of instructions, block of instructions and here it is inside the block we are writing any logic either inside the block or inside the method, but a block does not have any identity. Here it is no identity, no identity. So, nothing but no name, no name and here it is also, here it is identity, is must having identity. Here it is no identity and here it is identity is present, here it is no identity, here just identity is present, A any name you can give, so no matter. If it is a static block and here it is we are writing only a static keyword, it is a keyword just to identify, but this is not for calling, is remember, it is not identity, okay. So, block of instructions having no identity, here block of instructions having identity. Next one, so what is the use of a logic of this block? It will perform some task. But to perform the task, it will not take any input and it will not give any output, but method is not like that. Method is taking input, so technically the input is called arguments and it will give the output also, so technically the output is called return type, return type and here it is, the so no input, no input and no output, no output and here it is input is present and output is present, input is present and output is present and that last one. Sir, how to access this block? We cannot access any block because the so identities are so not there. So, without identity, how can we access, how can we communicate? So, impossible. So, here the fifth one, we cannot, we cannot access block explicitly, the explicitly means what as a manually, we cannot access the block, but come to this method, we have to access, we must call explicitly, explicitly using its identity using its identity, this one, okay. Simple thing, the conclusion, so both are either it is a block or it is a method, block of instructions and here it is a block is not having any identity, so no identity and here it is, it is not taking any input and it is not giving any output. And who will call this block means what? It will execute automatically in the application, either it is a static block or non-static block, executes implicitly in Java application. 
but if it is a static method or it is a non static method you have to call externally because identity is very clear identity is clear and uh, whenever we are calling we should pass input and here it is we are returning output i mean whatever the value it has written that we can collect input and output is present for block no input and no output okay so this is so actually what is a block and what is a method briefly hope you understood clearly for more videos please subscribe to narish it channel thank you thank you all